I love you, AC. Thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate it. Um, we've had a lot of issues uh, trying to get a kidney transplant. You think that it's going to be easy, and it's just not. Uh, we have a beautiful uh, lady who's a donor, but that lady has been rejected now for transplant to two different hospitals for reasons that are going to stay private to us and to her. But she is a beautiful person. She's sticking with us. We're going to another hospital. We're going to try to get her approved at that other hospital. But she's our second donor, our first donor. Well, that donor got, got donation fatigue. She was a match, but it took her 18 months to get her try to get her family together, and they finally didn't uh, approve the transplant, and she backed out. We found the second donor. Second donor's having problems. I need a backup. Not a backup. I need help. I need you to help me. I need the people out there to reach down deep and to understand that it's National Organ Donation Month. 20 people die every day waiting for a kidney transplant, and there's a lot of misconceptions out there. For instance, you only need one kidney. A person only needs one kidney. Now, my wife, both her kidneys don't work. In fact, for the last eight months, my wife hasn't even been able to take a number one. That's right. My wife hasn't peed for eight months. So you go through summer in South Florida drinking water and not peeing, and you see what happens to you. My wife is drawn. She's weakened at times. We have cut back our schedule to the point where all she does is go to dialysis, run a couple errands if she can, and comes home. I tuck her into bed. I kiss her on the forehead. I tell her how much I love her and what a superstar she is. My wife is Wonder Woman. How she gets up and keeps doing this, I have no idea. She is my personal hero, and I want you to help her if you possibly can. So, what are a couple of other uh, other uh, misconceptions? You don't need to be a match. You don't need to be a match with my wife. All you need to do is volunteer to be a donor, and then if you are accepted to be a donor, they can put you into the National Donor Exchange Program, and they can find another person that matches my wife, and that person, well, that kidney comes to my wife, and your kidney goes to somebody else, and now we've made two people have a life. You've given the gift of life to two people, not just one. And wow, isn't that just a great thing? And before I forget, I want to give a special shout out to our friends in Austin, Texas. They call, they text, they give us all the support in the world. I love the people in Austin, Texas. We have got a great love affair going with them, and they support us on this issue all the time. Hugs and kisses to all our people out in Austin that do give us, stand up with us, because it's very, very tough. I support my wife. She's a star. She gets calls all day long from people giving her support. Very few people call me, but I'm strong for her. I don't mind. And by the way, I get calls. And we've now gone out on the internet. Last week, we're going out this week, and we're going to keep going strong until we find people that are going to stand up to give the gift of life. And I'll tell you, we've set the record down at the Miami Transplant Institute. Lots of people have registered to see if they're suitable, but it's not easy. We've had people that have been denied because they had internal injuries in an auto accident, that they had a little bit of a problem with uh, some of their other bodily parts, that uh, they're pre-diabetic, that they are diabetic, that they're too old. All these things, and I want to thank every single person that, that called and, and offered to make a donation. And I got to tell you, I'm looking for the, the donation number here. You see me fumbling on the internet if you're watching on the internet. But I'll get it. I'll get it here in a second. Because you got to have the number to the Miami Transplant Institute where my wife is registered. She's also registered at Chan's. And so we're trying real hard and we're going to get this done. So if you want to give a kidney and you want to get you want to get the phone number for them and you want to talk to them, I'm going to give it to you right now. The number that you call to get tested to see if you can be a kidney donor is 305-355-5433. And this time I won't insult the Jets fans and say I got to go slow for them. I'm going to say it just normal speed again. Call 305-355-5433. That's 305 3 Five, 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 four, three, three. Call that number. Offer to be an organ donor, a kidney donor. Tell them you want to donate for Vivian Freed. And for goodness sakes, if you don't qualify to donate for Vivian, donate for somebody else. It's important to get out there. It's important to be an organ donor. AC, how much time do I have left? 
All right, I got two minutes left. Usually I go to the close, but I'm gonna spend one more, one more minute on this because it's that important. If you want to be an organ donor, you call the Miami Transplant Institute hotline. The number is 30, well, I got to do it 30, oh, I don't know how to do a zero. So 305-355-5433. And you call that number and you, you give them your name. You tell them you're trying to get on the list for Vivian Freed. And if you don't match with my wife, we'll find somebody for you to donate the gift of life to. But imagine, the person that needs a kidney transplant is feeling bloated. They're feeling, they're, they're run down. They're having all kinds of physical issues that we're not going to talk about on the phone. When they come back from dialysis, they're nauseous. They usually need to have a ride because their blood pressure is so low. It goes on and on and on. Save somebody's life. Give them the gift of life. I'll give it one more time. Call 305-355-5433 and change the world today.